be more than human. Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Joseph Carroll. I write under the pen name J.R. Carroll. And today we're coming back to Cradle. Book 6, Underlord. Now, as many of you who have watched my previous Cradle um, reviews or reactions, um, you know, these are going to be spoiler filled from here on out. So if you have not read Underlord, you may want to turn back. Um, but yeah, these have turned into <laughs> more of a reaction uh, videos uh, just because they're, uh, I don't know, it's just, it, it's, a, it's, an, ex, it's an exciting um, series to talk about. They're not, um, these, you know, crazy deep, you know, fantasy, uh, you know, books where you have to really dive down into them. They're just really fun and, um, really, you know, at now you're really starting to get, um, attached to these characters. And I'm starting to feel the um, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z uh, vibes here. We've ha we had several moments like that in this book, um, and you know, bring me back to my childhood, um, and that's why I got into these. Um, you know, I was told this is your kind of your anime in novel form um yeah you know and so that's why i gave it uh gave it a chance and it's you know will white is amazing um you know we open uh the book you know and we're back into that like kind of sci-fi thing where the people kind of outside of the universe um you know this one is being attacked this world is being attacked and this person, you know, this person is trying to defend, um, you know, this world and none of their attacks are working and they're about to be overtaken and, you know, the judge shows up and just <laughs> smites the bad guy, but has like, you know, it's like, there's bad news, things are worse than we thought type deal. And then we jump back in to uh, the main storyline. And, you know, you have Lyndon um, and Yaren and uh, Mercy fighting this group of, you know, this, you know, group of golds. And then I, I want to say that they were also fighting the Underlord in there. And they're all starting to battle together. And you're seeing Mercy, um, you know, we're, we're still in that mode of, well, she seems like she's really powerful, but then she's not, um, you know, so we're like, well, what, what's going on with her? There's something underneath. And we finally, you know, later on in the book, we actually get to figure out what that is. Um, you know, and we get to meet a sage in this book, you know, the silver sage of the silver heart, um, which I believe is Mercy's aunt. Um, and, so it's all starting, you know, things are starting to come together, uh, you know, figure her out and we're all preparing for the tournament, right? That's what this whole thing there. And you, you got little pieces of the tournament and in the previous book, you're hearing about it here. They start breaking down. They even tell you what you get for, you know, it's a big deal to make the top eight is a huge deal. And they tell you, you get these, you get these certain type of things. And if you make it to the top four, it's like anyone who's ever made it to the top four of this tournament is like a mo turned out to be a monarch. And then it's like, they're like, well, don't even, you know, it's crazy to even think about if you make the top two or if you win, you become, you know, this elite person, greatest warriors of all time. Um, if you make it into the top two, but, um, you know, really, <laughs> uh, you know, it, it was all about cultivating underlords. And I think this is like, you know, Ethan knew ahead of time that this is where we were going to go. 
and that's why he was pulling uh you know yaren and linden in and they're you know he's like i can get you to underlord and he's seen that he's seen this coming because you know uh you know mercy's family was opening up their uh you know their land or whatever and they have so many riches and you know so much you know power that people can draw in and and this is where we come into uh like the dragon ball z like the goku moment uh you know uh you get you know uh yaren is it, ha, you know got hurt early in the book and her life mo her lifeline or life mantra is being you know sucked out of her and uh you know it looks like she's gonna die and you really get um you know the connection it's always been this weird thing is like you know does Yaren and Lyndon do they really like like each other like that are they like friends or are they you know are they you know on the path of lovers maybe um and I think we got closer to the lover aspect of it um I mean maybe I'm wrong let me know in the comments you know, I mean, don't don't spoil it for me if you went through all of them, but it just seems like they're going in that direction. I could be I could be reading it completely wrong, um, but you know, they get into the battle towards the end, and um, you know, you get this moment where it's like, oh, we're down, we're down, and you know, and so you 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 know, you get that moment where it's like. Uh, Lennon's like, oh, I'm, 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 I, you know, I get, I need like, he needs like a minute or two minutes or something like that. And Mercy gives him that, that moment. And then it's like, you know, he's like, ah, power up. And, you know, it's where, you know, he goes super saying, you know, and in this, and in, uh, and in this book, we're getting the Linden as a powerful character. Now he's not just tricking people. He's not thought of as the low man on the totem pole. People are looking at him as a force to be reckoned with. And you even get to see that when uh, Will White shows you a uh, battle from another point of view where they're looking at Lyndon and they're like, this man is like, you know, he's got the freaking demon eyes and he's, he's always been tall and, you know, uh, he's always looked physically imposing, but now he he's becoming the whole package, you know, and then... You know, Yaren also, you know, ascends. And then we figure out that, you know, Mercy, the reason Mercy seems like she's powerful, but not really, is because her power was taken from her. And um, I loved the way, because she sacri basically, she sacrificed her freedom to save, uh, you know, to save Lyndon and Yaren. And it, it was like, you know, that was, a you know, <laughs> you know, another emotional moment where you're just like, you know, she she gave up her freedom now she has to go back and go under the thumb uh you know of her mother um but she, you know we got to see that she was you know right there almost ready to make underlord before this whole thing came down and then um earlier in the book you know orthos told uh linden that you know, you're going to far exceed me now. And I'm going to take a step back and take a step away. And you're sitting there like, no, not, not Orthos. Don't leave. Um, now, I don't know if Will White was doing that intentionally to kind of make room for other characters. It, you know, I've seen other people like, you know, Jim Butcher will do that from time to time where he'll pull uh, you know, one of the main characters away for some reason. He'll be like, okay, they're they're gonna go do a you know a side thing at the beginning of the book. They tell Harry I'm leaving, so a new character can come in or another character can get a shining moment. I think maybe that's why um, he pulled Orthos away. Um, but then again, you <laughs> at the end of this whole thing, you get uh, you know two surprises. So first surprise is, you know, they announce who makes it in to the tournament, right? And, you know, at the end, Ethan was like, I'm entering the tournament. And they're like, what? You know, that was kind of like a, huh? And he's like, I'm 
you know, because one of the rules was you had to be under 35. And he's like, I'm 34 years old. How old did you think I was? You know, you know, in his awesome, you know, eighth and way of talking. Um, and one of the best quotes so far in this whole thing was where, you know, Ethan was, I believe he was talking to Lyndon here. And, um, you know, they were in this position where they're like fighting a bunch of people. And, you know, he's like, <laughs> Ethan says something to the effect of, um, you know, this, you know, this is almost an impossible task, don't you think? And Lyndon's like, uh, you know, yeah, I'm not sure you can do it. And Ethan's like, that's not what you were supposed to say. You were supposed to say, of course you can do the impossible, Ethan. You know, um, but uh, the other big surprise that we got was Orthos. Uh, you know, you get to see um, Lyndon's sister. You're in her POV at the very end, and she's running from these people. And Orthos, like, stops her in her tracks as she's getting chased. And he's like, you know, they call me Orthos. I am you know, I am from your brother. And and she's like, well, we got to get out of here. We're getting, these people are going to kill us. And he's like, and he's just, ha, 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 ha. He's like, why run when I can fight? And you're just like, Orthos, you son of a bitch. You know? Um, but I am super pumped for the next book. Um, next month, my reading is going to drop probably in half. But Cradle is going to be on the list. So we're going to continue uh, with the Cradle journey. I can't wait to see where we're going. And this uh, series has shot up. Um, I, I told myself I'm going to do a... Um, next year, I'm going to redo on my year booktube uh, anniversary. I'm going to redo my top 10 or top 5 book series of all time. And this is definitely going to make the list. And I'm barely, I'm a little over halfway through the series now. So um, make sure you like, subscribe, comment. How did you feel about this book? Is, is Cradle in your top five all time? And I'll see you in the next one.